and like hey what's up everyone you're currently tuned into tbd on kcsb fm 91.9 in santa barbara and then at radio.com out of tijuana today i'm joined by ventura based band bent how you guys doing great good so you guys are based out of ventura right not oxnard or... yeah yeah we're it's Camarillo, Oxnard, Santa Paula, Santa Paula, and then we practice in Ventura. So. Oh, that's sick. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Sort of right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. I guess before we get totally into like the interview and stuff, do you guys want to like introduce yourselves and like what you play and everything? I know we have like a new member over here as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Ian. I play guitar and I sing. Sick. Uh, I'm Vinny. I play drums. And I'm Michael. I'm I'm playing bass. Hell yeah! That's what's up. Um, that's so sick guys. I like to ask this question. I used to ask like, you know, what have you guys been up to over like COVID, but that's also like such like a long period of time now, you know? Yeah. Um, so I guess like, what have your guys' lives been like recently? Have you guys like picked up like any new hobbies or like done anything interesting? I've been, I've been so busy recently. Like, yeah. Like I've been having like 18 hours because I just started work. I just started working at, uh, me and Vinny both work at Salzer's. Oh, nice. Uh, That's sick, dude. Yeah. So I've been, I've been doing that plus I'm a full-time student. So I've been so gosh darn busy. Wow, <laughs> dude, that is really intense being a student yeah. and working 18 hours. Um, That's pretty crazy. How do you guys work like working at Salzer's by the way? Oh, I love it. Yeah. That's I've been awesome. working there since I think August mm -hmm. and we've been what, like, like two, two months. months? Yeah, yeah. Two months. Oh, sick, dude. That's so cool. But the discount is is nice yeah what's what's that discount looking like dude because i know that um salzer's is I, i'd say probably the more pricey record store that like local yeah store. i say i discount i don't i don't know if we're allowed to say i don't know I actually know. they're kind of weird about that stuff it's good it's it's over 20 percent. i'll say that that's pretty <laughs> sick dude that's pretty sick yeah salzer's is fun dude i always like taking people there that are like from like out of town and stuff because it's like just interesting you know like upstairs yeah, yeah. is sick you know, you can spend yeah. like an hour upstairs just like looking mm -hmm. at like random stuff. Um, yes, it's definitely the most interesting store in Ventura County. Yeah, for sure. And it's like been around forever too. Yeah, um, since the 60s. It sucks yeah, that like their, um, what's it called? Their like video store just closed down. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a bummer. It was, it was bound to happen. But... Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Um, it's crazy that there was actually like a physical music revival, you know, and that like, I feel like the same thing probably would have happened to like main Salzers as well. If there wasn't that like revival, you know, and like, what's even crazy too, is like CDs or like, I feel like even coming back, they're coming back in style, even like indie music right now, you know, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I've been collecting CDs for years now because my car only has a CD player. So <laughs> yeah. See, so you've been on top of it, you know, but yeah, like, yeah. um, it's like interesting. Cause like, it's been like exacerbated as well recently like with vinyl being so hard for like people to get pressed um and yeah. like tapes being like becoming more popular and they're also cheaper and because vinyl is like so much harder to press people are going towards tapes which is also making it harder and then it's like people are turning more towards cds and it's like i always yeah, was we're never gonna run out of cds That's <laughs> exactly dude we're never gonna run out of cds dude um yeah and like there was this label that I really like called like cached media and they didn't even like try to do tapes or vinyl or anything. They went straight to CDs when they started like a year or two ago. That's funny. Yeah. That's and like I interviewed the owner, Matt Sage, like a year ago or something. And I was telling him, I was like, dude, like you made CDs cool again for me. Like I, I didn't, I thought CDs were like so lame, but like the way you like package them and like, you know, the way you present it, it's like sick. So yeah, I think uh Sub Pop did that for me. Sub Pop CDs and I mean they're vinyl too. Like it's always yeah. super interesting, like uh just the way they package it. Sub Pop always, does like, do a good job. Them. Yeah, Sub Pop does do a good job. I have like a bunch of Sub Pop CDs um as well. I mean, like what else have you guys been up to other than like working and like school and stuff? Well, I guess at the beginning of the pandemic, that's when that's when I picked up up so I originally played guitar. Yeah. And so when they asked me to play bass, I mean, I mean, I was up for the challenge, obviously. Yeah. It had less strings, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he killed it though. Yeah, yeah. picked Seriously. up quick. Like, That's he cool. He learned all, all of the songs that we played in the session, he learned in a week. So, damn, like, dude. He did better than anyone could have. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's actually the best bass player best in the county. Yeah. Damn, I would say oh, so, dude. Oh. I haven't even heard him play yet, but like I can already yeah. tell just by like the aura that he's giving off, you know? Exactly, like, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I can just tell you're the best like bass player in Ventura <laughs> County. Like it's dude, crazy. You should see him, dude. It right. started here with T B D dude and Ben, and you know, yes. you're gonna you're gonna blow up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so have you guys been like playing any gigs or anything? I know you guys just played like Los Fest, right? Yeah, yeah, we played Lost Fest, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we had our, our, our friend Max, who actually recorded the session for us mm -hmm. uh, over at Music Freaks. Uh, Max filled in on bass because we were like kind of in between bassists. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, Lost Fest was really fun. We haven't really had any other gigs because we're kind of just like writing mm -hmm. uh, as much as we can. Because uh, you know we had a band before, um, and like we have songs from it, but we we're kind of just like Ian and I were in a band together before called Mellow Cherries. Mm. um and uh we had some songs and you know they're i mean they're cool we're still proud of them but mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are, <laughs> yeah. you guys are looking to do something different now yeah, yeah exactly I, yeah. I get it that's sick yeah that's something i actually like wanted to ask you guys like you know um when did you guys like start bent you know and like you know if you guys were in any like bands beforehand but you kind of answered it and that was called like mellow cherries right yeah yeah so okay so i started like my, I think it was like my freshman year of high school. Uh -huh. uh, it was like towards like the end of the, the school year, and I wanted to start a band. Yeah, I, I didn't know how to play any instruments at that time, but I was like, you know what, I want to start a band. So I got uh -huh. some some friends, uh, and we started a band. Uh, and then we, you know, played like a few shows, and then COVID hit at the end of like our or the, like we played for like through our sophomore year, and then junior year, halfway through junior year. And I, I joined that band late. Yeah. This uh -huh. is before I this was, is Clay like, Vinny. Yeah. That, that oh wow. Me. Yeah. And then well, I'm in two that what, 2019? Yeah, 2019 is when I joined. Yeah, basically. Yeah. We we like about I don't know, we we had like this stagnant, like stagnant period uh, -huh. uh over the quarantine where nothing we weren't doing anything because we couldn't practice. Yeah. Uh, and then our other band members just they're like, you know what? This is, they don't they didn't want like yeah, I, like it's rightfully so. They, yeah, they, they didn't yeah, want to be in this limbo, so they so they they decided to leave and we're like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, then we were like still down. Still, still yeah. down. Like, yeah. And then so then we rebranded. I guess so that's what with Mellow Cherries we had a uh, one EP that we had with three songs called the La Luna EP, which now on our our band page is the Mellow Cherries EP. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's what Elevator Tunes, which uh, you played on the show like a few weeks ago. Okay. Um, that's that's off of the Mellow Cherries EP that was with Mellow Cherries, and because um, we 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 still love that song. That's, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Um, I was actually going to say when I was like looking at your guys' music, I saw that you guys had like, you know, the Mellow Cherries EP and like, yeah, that one song you mentioned. And so like, I was curious, like, you know, if you guys were a band that long, but it's interesting to see that that came from something else, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So um, what do you guys like? What are you guys like trying to do with like your reband or anything? Like, where are you guys like trying to go? Were there any like directions you guys were trying to take this that like Mellow Cherries wasn't able to? go in i guess yeah i feel like i i'm just looking to play more shows play more yeah play more shows, <laughs> yeah, more shows. we only played a couple with mellow cherries just mm -hmm. we were writing so much they're not they're like not even we're practicing a lot we just didn't really get shows but i think now like both of us have been doing it long enough where mm -hmm. we've made like friends and connections and everything and even working at salzers there's a bunch of the bands there like Los solos uh shout out oh yeah <laughs> uh, Los yeah. solos and btb yeah. and like those bands that um we're all like you know, trying to get some shows together. Do those dudes, especially working with you now too. Yeah, for sure. Do those dudes work at um, Salzers as well? Yeah, a lot, a few of the low solos guys, as well as uh, Austin from BTB. Oh, sick. Yeah. That's dope, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to uh, see you guys playing more gigs and, you know, getting out there doing, doing the DIY thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that's sick. So um, I guess like, you know, what are some of like the inspirations for some of the stuff you guys are writing now? <laughs> so this is funny. There's a lot of questions where like, oh, what are we going to say? Uh, <laughs> for me, um, it's kind of, there's like, I say the two primary ones are like uh, Poncho and the Wizards, which is another, they're a uh, band from San Luis Obispo. Yeah. And that's cool that you like mentioned that as well. Cause I also like to ask, you know, like what like local area bands are you guys like really down for yeah. right now? So that's cool. Yeah. And, yeah. I, I I love Poncho. Uh, I'm probably like together, together Pangea. Dude, that yeah. band is such a classic. 
I know. Yeah. That's the one that like we all come together on. We're we're all fans of them, but. <clears throat> yeah you? they're no like together pangea is super cool i remember i used to go and see them at like the smell and stuff back in the day like that was like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. some of my first shows i was like oh dude let's go see together pangea back when like yeah it was acceptable to you know like burger bands and stuff you know <laughs> yeah, um, yeah sure. when like everybody was a burger kid like that was like the cool thing to like be into you know um, yeah. Yeah. which is interesting mm-hmm. because like together pangea used to actually be on this other label that i really like called lauren records which I always thought was so random that they put out together Pangea back when they're only called Pangea. And yeah, then Pangea yeah. Went, yeah. And then Pangea went like in an entirely different direction. It's interesting to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, what else were you guys saying? Well, I don't know. What, what are your what are your inspirations? Um oh man. Are you gonna say like, I don't know, even just like as simple as like what are you guys like listening to? I guess like before you go I I recently started getting into some more coffin, another local man. Yeah, another yeah. Local yeah. Man, another local <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah coffin's yeah, that's... cool. That's sick, guys. Well, um, you know, were you guys ever involved in like, you know, eight oh five DIY like before you guys like started your bands? Like were you guys going to shows or were you guys going yeah. to shows elsewhere? Uh I I was an in I was an intern at um what's now music freaks it used to be rock city studios oh yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, i interned there for like i think two and a half years or so like pretty much from from 2018 up until the pandemic yeah uh, i i was doing stagehand for them and sound and everything like that and yeah because it's it's definitely like i wouldn't be where i am right now if it weren't for that place and those people Mm -hmm. um but yeah yeah max 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 Dickinson. dickinson like love shout yeah, out max exactly. dude shout out max yeah. that's sick love dude him. yeah um music freaks are like uh what were they called before rock city studios like they they were definitely having like a lot more gigs and stuff back then i remember they were having like actual like ticketed shows which is like pretty crazy yeah, yeah. back then you know yeah that was pangea they played there twice I, I oh that's sick them. yeah that's cool yeah. um yeah no i always thought like what they were doing is like pretty sick it's cool that you guys have those connections as well because i feel like that's just like a really good Someone actually it really helps. <laughs> it really helps. Dude, yeah. someone was actually messaging me about Music Freaks recently on TBD. Um, some person they're asked, doing shows again. Are so, they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, yeah they just announced one. Oh, sick! Yeah, dude, tell them to contact me. I guess or something. I don't know. I'd be down sure. to throw shows. Nah, I there. will. Yeah, or, seriously, I, I go there all the time. So I'll, I'll let them know. Yeah, that'd be sick. Um, yeah, I guess like you know, late bloomers. They had recorded their set at music freaks or something and somebody was like hey is that music freaks and i was like oh yeah it definitely is and they're just like awesome that place is a great resource and i was like tell me about it so i can tell people to go there you know if they have to record sure. and do they typed me like this whole paragraph and i was like Sick. <laughs> it's awesome that's cool yeah yeah, yeah. lay bloomer yeah that's another one of our friends too but yeah oh yeah dude yeah shout out those guys those guys are cool for um sure. you know alex is like doing a lot of good good work for the community and stuff with like yeah, his label do. pleasant valley yeah we're we work with richie so uh bass player so. oh yeah sick you know yeah, yeah really he loves solos that's, yeah low yeah, solos yeah. yeah yeah definitely do that's cool are you guys planning on like putting out any new music soon like do you guys have that in like the pipeline yeah hopefully uh again we're kind of just writing we're hoping like uh we record kind of like early to mid june ish uh-huh in that area and then hopefully get something out by like july so uh, yeah we want to do more than just like a short little ep we want to do like either a longer ep or just like a, an album, uh-huh. song album. Yeah, a a ten song album or something. dope just you know so, so that we have stuff out there yeah exactly no i get that um that's awesome guys well i guess that kind of like does it for i guess like the questions that like i had but like we actually got some like listen- listener questions too mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, you guys have fans. <laughs> oh, that's <hell> yeah. wild. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so this one says minty gum or fruity gum? Minty gum. Depends on okay. Yeah. It just lasts longer. Fruity. Okay. If you're gonna be drinking like cold water, like if you're let's say you're drinking water, yeah. you definitely don't want the fruity gum. I it's, want dude, no, I love that. Yeah, I, it, I think it depends on the type of mint. Because if we're talking like peppermint, it'll yeah. no. Yeah. Spearmint though. Spearmint yeah, is probably the best mint. Yeah, no. Nothing, nothing tops spearmint gum. I just fruity gum lasts like two seconds. 
yeah, yeah fruity, yeah, fruity sure. gum definitely doesn't last very long um yeah fruity gum can be trash sometimes i have like i had this really terrible experience with fruity gum once i was like chewing like juicy fruit dude and like i'm dude. not even gonna lie like it literally dissolved in my mouth yeah oh. that, yes i've had that happen like multiple times too many okay. times honestly so you guys but... chew the gum for too long huh? <laughs> dude <laughs> i guess no, so it was like well it might, be, it might have just been old for me but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. old gum literally though i don't know maybe it's like from chewing it too long but like I, that has never happened to me with any other gum and i would chew my gum yeah. for like over an hour usually you know yeah. no me too minty gum never does that to yeah. me yeah Fruity no gum always it's the always, fruity gum. A lot of the time, it'll it'll just dissolve. <laughs> yeah, it's I remember disgusting. like straight up, I was just chewing it, and like I'm like sitting in like a lecture or something, and all of a sudden, like it's just liquid, like it just straight <laughs> turned into liquid, and I was like, oh my god, like I gotta go, Gummy. I gotta get Gummy. out of here. <laughs> it's so <laughs> gross. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah definitely minty. I remember like when five gum was like super popular too. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was the best minty gum in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree. That's the longest. Um, so anyways, this next one says favorite place to get ice cream. Cold Stone. Oh, man. Ben and Jerry's. Probably Ben and Jerry's. The one on Main. Yeah, the one on Street. It's funny because yeah. the employees are like never there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You walk in and it's like an empty store and you're, you're like, hello. And it's like echoes. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I'm never at the one on Main. Or I never really go to Ben and Jerry's in general. Um. But my girlfriend really likes Cold Stone, so we're always yeah, going there. Yeah, good, Dude, you know, know super expensive. Ben and Jerry's yeah, is expensive. expensive. I, I, yeah, I mean, ice cream in general is just really expensive, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's um, uh, Coastal Cone. Dude, That's Coastal part. Cone is yeah, dank. It's really good. I really like I Coastal Cone. Years though. Wow. There's also this place is in LA, but it's called like Salt and Straw. There's like multiple. Have you guys ever been there? I'm not. Dude, salt and straw is Maybe. crazy, dude. Like the flavors. Maybe when we got sushi stop. Is it is there one next to a sushi stop? I'm not sure, honestly. Okay, there's like there's like the the Scientologist Celebrity Center right across the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I usually go to the one in like Culver City or something because it's like okay, usually yeah. the least crowded. Uh but yeah, that place is sick and like the flavors are insane. Okay, so um, this next one, it says, is Max the best producer in the 805? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, in the 805, I, yeah, I actually genuinely, yes, I think, I think he that. is. I think he's the best producer. I think uh, he just puts in the work and like, I don't know, I, we, we recorded Mellow Cherries with him mm -hmm. and, and like, and I've, I've like, him and I are, are pretty close. So like, I've sat in with a bunch of different recording sessions of his and like, he just, uh, I don't know. He puts in more work than anyone else would, I think. Uh, and like, yeah, he, you can tell he actually cares about the music. He's yeah. Making. Yeah. He's, just, he's like, he's super talented. Like everything he does. Yeah. Like yeah. everything. He doesn't even like yeah. <laughs> give him any instrument. He, he probably, he doesn't even need to see it and he'll play it well. Yeah. That's so sick. Shout out yeah. Max, dude. Does Max play in any bands or anything? Or is he mostly just yeah. like working uh, behind the control board? Yeah. Uh, two brothers is like his main one, and then uh, Murmur, uh, NVR, NVR. Oh. They they play with Eye Candy a bunch. Dude, I know Max. Then yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did. I didn't put two and two together. That's sick, dude. Shout out Max. Yeah, dude, for sure. Definitely yeah. want to get two brothers on the show, but I had Murmur on oh, like yeah. about a year ago. So. Oh nice. Oh cool. I didn't even know that. That's yeah. Awesome. No, Murmur. Murmur is sick. Uh, yeah, they're, they're they're good. That band is insane. Two brothers is also pretty crazy too. Um, yeah, they're coming. I mean, why? Well, I, I, I mean, he he's been teasing it on his Instagram, but they're they have some new stuff coming out, and like I've been able to watch the whole creative process, and it's like seriously, like it's insane. That's so. Sick. They have a music video for for one of their new songs on YouTube right now. Oh really? Oh, I think I might have saw them post that on Instagram or something. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. That's cool, dude. Yeah, you guys should play a show with like two brothers or something. That'd be sick. Dude, I, I want to yeah, so awesome. bad. Um, yeah. Dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it happen, dude. Let's make it happen. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, dude. I just didn't put two and two together. Actually, um, Cameron from Eye Candy asked that question. Um, and okay, I was like, yeah. how, do, how does Cameron know Max? And I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah it's that Max. Um, okay, yeah, Max did all of Eye Candy stuff. That's why it's yeah, so, exactly. so good. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And like I know that um they also recorded Eye Candy set when they were on the show like last year and stuff too. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Or at least I think nice. so. But yeah. Okay, so this next one says favorite local band. 
Okay. Okay, well, hold on. Do we mean local, like, Ventura, or yeah, local up to, like, because, like... I would say okay. maybe just, like, 805, I guess. Like, yeah. that goes pretty far. Yeah. Um, I think 805 goes to, like, slow or something. Honestly, I think currently I'd have to say low solos. Yeah, they're I really think. good. Yeah, they, I, I, them and, I think them and Eye Candy are the two best live performing bands right now. For sure. Like, Dude. They're, I don't know. They're just kind of, I don't know. They have an energy to them. It's like, you know, like they're not meant for, like they're meant for bigger things, you know? That's what I, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I want Eye Candy to blow up, dude. I want Los Solos to blow up, dude. For sure. It's going to happen. going to. Yeah, You're dude. Going to. We're, we're manifesting it here. Gone. We're manifesting it here. It's going to happen. Go. Um, exactly. Yeah, I want to get Los Solos on the show at some point too. Um, yeah, for real. Before yeah. they blow up, dude, and they're too busy. Uh, exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Those two are my favorites too. So this next one, dude, literally every show, somebody asked that question as well, which is like really funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a good question. I like it. It is it's a good, good question. Thing. I also think it's a good opportunity just to like shout out homies and stuff too, you know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this next one says, "What's the what's the T? What's the T? I don't even know what that means, but I guess like something uh, something no? juicy. I like chai. Uh, Thai iced tea. Thai iced tea got to be my favorite drink ever, dude. Thai tea is so good. Thai oh, tea milk is tea. so good. Milk tea is also I good, like but Thai tea. tea I think is just a little bit better. So if you guys are getting like a milk tea or something like that, are you getting boba or are you just going yep. without boba? Yep. Honestly, yeah. no, I think yep. I'm going to say boba is overrated. I'm gonna say he's wrong. <laughs> that is a very hot take. Yeah, yep. I, yeah, I know. I like the drinks themselves. Like the yeah. drinks are all delicious, but like they're just like, I, they're, it's not bro. Like I'll get boba. I just don't think, I don't see the hype. I don't you see don't why prefer like, it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's not and like half the time it too. costs extra. Yeah. Like 50 cents. <laughs> I, I could use that 50 cents. <laughs> right? what? Yes. Buy more drink. Oh, <laughs> yeah. To get a large. Yeah, to get a large. Exactly. And also the boba takes up volume, you know what I'm saying? So if you just don't get boba, you have that extra volume of like the drink. Exactly. You know? Yeah, but, the, I, but then the boba like soaks up the tea, dude. It's like. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that, it's gross. <laughs> it's not gross. It's, it's not gross. gross. I do like boba. I just don't, I don't see why it's like the biggest thing on planet Earth. I'm kind of a fan of like the popping boba. Which is like kind of gross. That's like that. really good too. You guys should try that. It's like the boba that has like, you know, I usually get it. It has to be the right drink. So if you got like a Thai tea and you got like strawberry popping boba, that'd be honestly gross. Um, that'd be kind of weird. Yeah, it'd be kind of <laughs> weird. But like, yeah, dude, the popping boba is really good. And I also am not a fan of boba if it's like, if the boba is not fresh. Um, okay. Yeah. So like you got to go to a place where the boba is like freshly made, like it's a super active boba place. So they're always making fresh boba. Um, and that's when it's the best for me when it's like super soft and like chewy and yeah. stuff. Honestly, I, I, I think I prefer like going to a kombucha bar, like fresh kombucha. Yeah. The one in Ojai, yeah. there's like, like a fresh kombucha bar. That's, that, that's the tea. That's, that's the, the tea, tea right there. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just like actually on like the last show that I had last last artist I had on the show, Mo Dotti, they were talking about how over COVID they started making their own kombucha. So they had to like awesome. what's it called? SCOBY or something like that. They yeah, were like yeah. you know, like nurturing the SCOBY to like make their kombucha. And like, you know, I told the story last week, but like when I was living at my co at the co-op in, in Santa Barbara, I opened up the drawer one time and one of my friends was making, opened up the bottom cabinet looking for something. And I just found my friend Scoby just like sitting there in this jar. And it was the most the nasty looking thing in my life. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looks like, yeah. It's like, it's like wizard type stuff. It like looks like an ocean. Dude, it yeah. literally looks like an organ just floating on top. Like, <laughs> yeah, it does. It, does. it looks like a, like a sort of like mystery. Yeah. It tastes yeah. so good though. Yeah. <laughs> no. And I don't know. Oh, that's vile. Yeah, it's literally vile, dude. No, I'm with you, bro. Like, um, but yeah, like hard kombucha is good too. I enjoy that as well. Yeah, kombucha. kombucha oh, <laughs> yeah, really oh man, you guys aren't 21. No, no we're. Uh, nope. I'm I'm 18. I'm 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. That's sick. Um, <laughs> that's dope. You guys will be able to try hard kombucha at some point. <laughs> <Some point. laughs> yeah okay so i guess that kind of like does it with like i guess 
the listener questions where can people keep up with like all things like bent uh at bent dot the band on instagram uh that's pretty much it yeah, I, mean, we, I don't know we have our personal instagrams but we'll just link that on on ben if it or on the on the page but yeah at ben dot the band nice um so we're gonna start posting more but <laughs> hell yeah i guess like real quickly how did you guys um come up with that name bent and why the period at the end so it's really <laughs> funny yeah <laughs> so there's a there's a t- together pangea song I don't, uh, basically there's a line where it's like, get bent. And at first off. Wait, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a word that well, we were like, also, that's cool. Well, not, not <laughs> song, but also I think the phrase get bent is like pretty funny because, you know, I can't say that, but I can't interpret it because I don't, you know, but uh, it's a good phrase. It's, a, it's mm-hmm. fun to say. Yeah. I was like, oh, bent. And the period was fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like, like let's be different <laughs> yeah that's uh because so also too i think there's there's already a band that's bent and it's capital b e n t and so we did lowercase b e n t period yeah that way like no one's gonna copy us no no <laughs> no copyright claims for lowercase b bent with that a period way, at the end that way when they exactly. when they try to find us on instagram they can't because they don't then forget the period <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I didn't know it came. I actually didn't know the origin story of it. <laughs> I thought it was just like a cool name. That's so funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> is it? What song is it? It's off of. It's off of Living Dummy. Which one is that? Is that like one of their most recent? That, no, that's that's, 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 one, that's the one before Bad Life. I think it's like 2009. I think that's when they first changed yeah. their name to Together. Uh, yeah, it's. I think it's like 2009. 2009. It's the one with uh, Too Drunk to Come on it. Oh, so Living. Oh, Living Dummy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one you said. Oh wow, interesting. Yeah, that, I think that I think that's the one that like Lauren Records did or something. Maybe okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I yeah, think probably. so. Yeah, that they so like first right did or something like that. Um. Yeah. Anyways, that's sick, guys. Yeah, for sure. So I have one more question. It's kind of like the biggest one of the show, and mm-hmm. everybody has to give their take. It's really a hard one. Um. I don't know if you guys are prepared for it. I don't know if anybody is ever prepared for this question. Yeah. All right. Um, are you guys ready for it? Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know, dude. Like, you might only, like my toes only one way to find out. Toes are curled right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it says a rat is going to jump into your mouth. Do you want this rat to jump into your mouth head first yes. or butt first, and why? <laughs> oh, head first head or butt first? first? Butt first, and why? But okay, I'll go Sorry. first. I'll go. I'll go first. <laughs> but first, because I don't know if rats can walk backwards. So, so you're just assuming it can't happen. I'm well. See, this is a bad situation. So I'm gonna hope it can't <laughs> yeah. walk backwards. I don't think anyone. But I, I know rats can walk forwards, and I'm I, so I'm gonna take the risk that hey, maybe they can't. Well, I, I think this is assuming it's going to happen. Yeah, so, like, like, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but, like, I got a whole scenario laid out for you, and it's going <laughs> to So you're, you're over there <laughs> in, like, Music Freaks, right? And you're, like, you know, Max, like, does some crazy thing on, like, you know, recording your music or something, whatever Max does. And you're just mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, that's insane. And as you're, like, looking up, like, just, like, in awe, like, listening to the music, a rat just falls from the rafters into your <laughs> mouth, and it's butt first. Okay, well, that's a good point because now the tail is down my throat. Yeah, and that's gross. okay. And where do you go from there? Can you take the rat out of your mouth, or is it just you got to you swallow? just got to swallow the rat? So you're making your own destiny here. Like you guys can like <laughs> you know decide because what happens I'm, from there. I'm gonna say so. <laughs> this is I'm, maybe this is too inappropriate to say. I don't think my mouth goes that far. <laughs> And so I think if it goes head first, you have a little, you'll have a little handle with the tail. You just pull it out. That's true, dude. That's a good one. And then I have a new rat friend. But rats have little claws. What if it like claws its way down your throat, man? Yeah, see, that's a way it's going to hurt. So I don't know. At least there I have like it, the the tail's like going to be last. Yeah. I can't, I can't pick a rat up by its nose, by its little snaws. I just, I just eat the rat. Oh wow! No, I'm not, no, because then, because then I have a rat friend, like Ratatouille. Oh, yeah, dude, that's right. sick. I'm really glad that you brought that up because that's usually like the answer that I go for too. 
Yeah. No, you and I are the same. Uh, so okay. don't eat same, wait, same your wavelength. Uh, I was going to say the same thing about, about the tail that you yeah. just grab mm-hmm. the tail. You know? okay. Dude. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. Is cheesecake cake or pie? Whoa. <laughs> so cheesecake traditionally has like like a pie crust, right? Mm. At the bottom? Mm-hmm. It's like a custard, yeah. Yeah, custard. so it's like so a custard me. and then it's like the pie crust at the bottom and that's how you eat like cheesecake for the most part, right? I'm thinking of that. Yeah. I'm thinking of the right thing. It's like compare like cheesecake to pumpkin pie. It's the same. It's like the same. It just tastes different. It's just a different skin. Right. <laughs> it's different skin. Pie. Cheesecake <laughs> is pie and I'm here to uncover the truth. Have you seen those like cheesecakes, those like Japanese cheesecakes that are really jiggly? Oh, yeah. Yes. Dude, those are yeah, sick. Yeah. I really want to try one. About I don't think I'll eat one. I don't think I'll eat one. Really? I mean, I mean, I go, I well, no, actually, like, I don't think I would either because I'd just be like, I know. <laughs> so he would get distracted. Yeah, just like playing with it. <laughs> I just want to like sleep on that thing, like a pillow or yeah. something, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. yeah. Have you seen those bread loaves that are like super spongy? The spongy bread. Yes, dude. I think that like cloud cloud bread or whatever. Dude, like that ASMR food. It's so sick. I love I ASMR really food. I love. Yeah, I can't. I, can't, I, I can't do ASMR. The the I, regular ASMR I'm not really down for, but food like there's this Japanese woman. I don't know her name because it's in Japanese, but she's on YouTube and she just makes all these like crazy desserts and there's no like talking. It's just her like chopping all the stuff uh-huh. up and like like cooking it, and uh-huh. it's the most relaxing thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it straight up is, dude. Um, how about do you guys feel about mukbang? Oh, you know? uh, yeah, is, I think it's I think I it's think, weird. I think those things like, are the worst thing to ever. Dude, do. well, also because there's that guy Nikikata Avocado, or whatever. Uh-huh. Okay, that dude is not a true mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Listen, listen. 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 I don't know. I don't. I don't watch mukbang. I don't even like mukbangs. I know. He's is not it just eating mukbang. food on camera? Yeah, dude. My girlfriend no, watches. He, 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 would you do it? Would you do? Would mukbang? I eat food? Would I be a mukbanger? Yeah, I would. Uh, now we're getting. They make bank. They do make bank. And they just get to eat like McDonald's. Yeah, but then some of them they eat like live. Or what McDonald's. about review of the week or report of the week? That, that that kid that always dresses like oh, okay. fast food. I, I like that. Yeah. Like sick. Yeah. Is, yeah. Is, that yeah. Is, right. is that a mukbang? I, I, I mean, it's I eating food on camera. He does more. It's more of a food review than anything. I see. But oh, he's sick. Good. Yeah, he's and he's still going. Yeah. Shout out that guy. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend watches this like mukbang where it's like this girl that like you know eats like just crab legs like this disgusting food like i mean crab legs aren't disgusting but like the way it's just all over her the hands. way she eats it i yeah. hate oh, having dude. food on my hands dude like oh. one of like the biggest pet peeves i had have is having food on my hands like i love the taste of in and out but i hate eating it because my fingers smell like in and out for like a long time even after you scrub your fingers you know yeah, i worked so, in like, a mcdonald's kitchen so i know exactly like my my i would go home and my hands would just smell like uh like the the garlic <laughs> or not garlic the the onions that they yeah. have like the, the little fake onions yeah and pickles and i would like scrub my hands and he couldn't get it out exactly yeah it, it doesn't come smells. out it was <laughs> still, still smells, yeah. still, it's been, still it's been like, like eight months and i still smell like onion yeah <laughs> <Possibly> unrelated yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, so I guess that's the only thing that really like bothers me about mukbang is just the fact that like it looks gross. I'm sure the food is delicious, you know, and like the stories that like this girl actually talks about. She it's like true crime. It's a true crime mukbang. Oh, where, like, you know, yeah, yeah, she yeah. she like tells true crime stories. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, we should start a TBD mukbang. Honestly, just have like dude, a, dude, I, yeah, will listen. I will be dude. That would be kind of sick, honestly, because like you know, people definitely would listen if it was just like on the radio or something. You know, like <laughs> yeah, turn, turn on your radio, you're just flying sounds. Yeah, you're uh-huh. just hearing flying kid, ninety like, down the freeway. Dude. Just, <laughs> just eat like yeah. local restaurants and give it. Yeah, just like hit up. I don't know, like Blue Owl or something. You dude, know? that like, would be <laughs> sick. Yeah, honestly, yeah. we should make it happen, dude. Honestly, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> just let me know. I'll be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm always on eat. So, um, I guess that like, I guess my answer for like the rat question, bringing it back in before we head out here, um, I always go with the answer where I would take it, butt first and then pet it on its head and calm it down and put it underneath my hat. And then we have like a ratatouille homie. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Have you guys seen? Get, have you guys you seen? The, go ahead. Sorry. How do you put taste a rat out of your mouth? Dude, that's an interesting thing that I've never actually thought about. <laughs> and it's like, ew. And what happened? Okay, not to be gross, but what happens if the rat poops? Oh, dude, that's in I, your I, mouth, man. The see, you're, rats poop a lot. You're making this like scenario, you know, for yourself. Like, I never like bring this up, and now that you're bringing it up, it's like your world building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, like, now that. Yeah, this is, I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's an important question to ask, you know, like you, you, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I don't like rat poop in my mouth. You're worried for that. I can't, <laughs> I, I can't say that I've ever enjoyed it, but. That raises the question though. Did Remy poop on? Almost dude. definitely. Like, how did it, did, he must have pooped on his head. He was Almost there for definitely. hours. Yeah. Definitely, dude. That was such like that movie romanticized it. You know what I'm saying? They didn't tell the truth. <laughs> that dude they definitely didn't... smelled like rat. Yeah. yeah they did not <laughs> tell the true story of that. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Remy was in the sewers and stuff, bro. That guy was probably smelly. You know, he didn't take baths. He bathed in the sewer. You know, like yeah, uh... exactly. Have you guys seen Ooh, that? Uh... Have you guys seen that new movie before we go? Like um, everything, everywhere, all the time, or something. No, we were talking about it at work today, but I, I haven't, I haven't seen it. I want that, to though. Is that the one? It's the new A twenty four movie. Is that the one that LXG scored? No, I don't is think it? he scored that. What, the, what's the movie that he's that he scored? I don't oh know. My, I, how, I, yeah, that's crazy. I what, forgot to mention. <laughs> yeah. Alex, oh, whoa! For, for, I forgot to mention Alex G. I, <laughs> how did that? that <laughs> I, that's the only music I've been listening to for the past like. Two months. <laughs> Longer than that, it's been like five months. Now. Yeah, five months. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, that movie is called We're All Going to the World's Fair. And yeah, That's Alex cool. G is like, you know, one of those artists that like, I know every single song. Dude, same. Yeah, like I, I was so into Alex G back in the day. That guy is like super, you know, was super important into getting me into like a lot of different like music and stuff. Uh, yeah, Alex G is amazing. And I've seen him live like a few times. And yeah, he's so good. Did you, he, he just repressed a trick. I actually um, didn't get a copy of that. Didn't it sell out or something? I, I pre-ordered it like six days before release. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't do that. Um, I've been slacking on like the the physical music pre-orders, but I do have like his other records. You know, I have like Rocket, uh, Beach, oh, no. Beach, Mu- wait, no, we have Beach oh. Music, right? That's one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then DSU is my favorite. That one is so good. Yeah. I actually got DSU at Salzer's and then- Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, and that? then, what was that? When, when when did you pick that up? Years wow. ago, dude. I bought that yeah, for like yeah, five years ago or six years ago. Like all we have is House of Sugar. But it's good. Yeah, I have like House <laughs> yeah, of Sugar I mean, too. No, yeah, DSU is amazing, dude. That record is so good. And then I have what is the one with like the woman on front that has like Mary on that that record? R- rules, I think. Oh yeah, Rules. I got that one at Salzer's too. Um, yeah, dude. What so, do you think about Race? I've only listened to Race. Oh, dude, wow. Race is actually, that's the one with Nah, right? Yeah, dude, Nah, oh my, dude. Yeah, that is, Race is my favorite, is one of my other favorite Alex G records. That was the first thing I ever bought on Bandcamp, actually. That's so sick. I like okay. the song Race. Yeah. I'm not going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, Race is probably one of my, like, top three albums, like, of all time. Yeah, Race is very good. Um, I really like that song, Crab um yeah. yeah so guys well i guess that kind of like does it for the show we made it to the end all right yeah, yeah. It was, oh it was fun yeah thank you for having yeah, us yeah awesome. hell yeah um thanks for tuning into tbd on kcsb fm 91.9 every sunday 4 to 6 p.m and netnet radio every saturday 4 p.m be sure to tune in next week we have an artist called mux who does stuff with hossy mountain this has been ben thanks for being on the show guys Thank you. Thank you. The way you sing your tune.